It was 300 BCE, a time when the city Alexandria stood as a beacon of culture and knowledge in the ancient world. The city of Alexandria bustled with life, its streets teeming with people from all walks of life, each contributing to the vibrant tapestry of the city. The sun beat down on the vibrant marketplace, where merchants hawked exotic goods from distant lands, their voices blending into a symphony of commerce. Scholars from across the known world gathered to debate and share ideas in the Library of Alexandria, a hub of intellectual activity and discovery. Among the city's inhabitants was a man named Thales. He was an alchemist, known for his relentless pursuit of knowledge and the mysteries of the natural world. Thales was not interested in common metals like gold or silver. His ambitions reached far beyond the material realm. He sought a more elusive treasure, one that could not be measured in weight or value. Thales believed in the power of mental alchemy, the transformation of the mind and spirit through deep contemplation and study. He pursued the transformation of the soul, seeking to unlock the secrets of existence and the universe. His ultimate goal was spiritual enlightenment, a state of being that transcended the physical world and connected him to the divine. Thales spent countless hours in his workshop, a place filled with the scent of old parchment and the flicker of candlelight. He surrounded himself with scrolls and alembics, ancient tools that held the secrets of the universe. He tirelessly studied ancient texts, poring over every word, every symbol, Thales searched for wisdom in the writings of those who came before him. He yearned for a deeper understanding of the universe and himself, contemplating the mysteries of existence. Thales believed in the existence of the Philosopher's Stone, a legendary substance that could turn base metals into gold. This was not a literal stone. It was a metaphor for something far greater. This stone represented the pinnacle of spiritual evolution, the ultimate goal of his quest. Finding the Philosopher's Stone meant achieving ultimate wisdom, a state of enlightenment that transcended the physical world. Thales discovered the concept of the great work. This was the alchemical process of self-perfection. It was a journey of introspection and transformation. This journey resonated deeply with Thales. He dedicated his life to undertaking the great work. The great work was not for the faint of heart, it was a demanding process, it required immense willpower. The reward was immeasurable, it promised enlightenment. The Fires of Calcination The first stage of the great work was calcination. This was a process of breaking down the ego, it involved confronting one's flaws, it meant burning away negativity. Thales embraced this stage, he saw it as a necessary purification. Thales meditated for hours. He analyzed his thoughts and emotions. He challenged his own beliefs. This process was arduous. It was essential for growth. The waters of dissolution. Dissolution was the next stage. This involved surrendering to the unknown. It meant letting go of control. Thales had to confront his deepest fears and insecurities. This stage was about dissolving the illusion of the self. Thales practiced humility and acceptance. He learned to trust the universe. He embraced vulnerability. This stage was transformative. It opened him up to new possibilities. The emergence from the coagulation. The final stage was coagulation. It was the culmination of the great work. This stage involved integrating the transformed self. It meant emerging stronger and wiser. Thales experienced a profound sense of unity. Thales discovered inner peace and wisdom. He achieved a higher level of consciousness. He had completed his alchemical transformation. A legacy of wisdom. Thales emerged from his alchemical journey a changed man. He felt profound gratitude for the insights he had gained and the mysteries he had unraveled. He felt a deep connection to the universe, sensing the intricate web of life and the cosmos. Thales dedicated the rest of his life to sharing his knowledge, believing that wisdom should be passed on to future generations. He taught others about the transformative power of the great work, emphasizing the importance of inner growth and understanding. His teachings inspired countless individuals, igniting a spark of curiosity and a thirst for knowledge. They embarked on their own journeys of self-discovery, seeking to uncover the truths that Thales had hinted at. His wisdom echoed through the ages. 
influencing scholars, philosophers, and seekers of truth across generations. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and don't forget to click the bell icon. Get notified when we upload our latest video.